Hi, the goal of this tutorial is to introduce you to the basics of using Rational Publishing Engine to extract data from Rational Rhapsody and create output documents to present in a friendly way the extracted data. At the end of this tutorial, you will know how to create an RP template for Rhapsody, how to obtain a valid Rhapsody schema, and how to run a document specification to extract data from Rational Rhapsody. In this tutorial, we are looking to extract all the use case diagrams and the sequence diagrams of the Rhapsody project. A set of diagram attributes and the diagram image will be displayed for each diagram. Each diagram will be bounded to a figure caption. The set of packages and classes will be extracted in a recursive way, since any package can contain other packages and any class can contain other classes. For each package, it will be displayed information related to the contained classes, use cases, and the sequence diagrams. For each class, it will be displayed information related to its operations. Elements information will be displayed for each extracted diagram. A master page will be created, and in the header we will display the name of the Rhapsody project from where the data will be extracted. The template will contain some additional structures like table of content and table of figures, and it will have a title page section. We will start the Rational Publishing Engine and create a template to extract the elements of interest from Rhapsody Loaded Project. Using the Add Data Source Schema Wizard, add a new REST data source using the schema provided in Rational Rhapsody Installation folder. Name the data source Rhapsody DS and complete the wizard. The schema is added in our template and now it can be used to create queries. The following variables extract use cases, extract use case diagrams, extract sequence diagrams, and extract model element are used to determine whether corresponding elements will be extracted or not. Using the new variable dialog, create the extract use cases variable by providing the name of the variable and set the access property value to external. Repeat the process to create the extract use case diagrams external variable. Do the same operation to create the extract sequence diagrams external variable. Finally, create the extract model element external variable. Another variable named document title will be added to hold the Rhapsody project name. Open the new variable dialog, insert the document title value in the name field and set the access property to internal. The document title internal variable will be added to the variables list. In order to create the title page, first add a container and set a project's project query using the Rhapsody DS data source schema. Open the assignments editor and assign the attribute name from the project's project query to the document title variable. Doing so will store the name of the Rhapsody project in the document title variable, which will be used to display the project name in the title page and also in the master page. Create a paragraph and add a text element in it using the palette view. Set the value of the text element to a data expression element, referring the document title internal variable. Since the text element we've just added represents the content of the title page, we'll set the title style on it. 
In order to display the text in the middle of the page, we'll set the paragraph before spacing property to 300. In the next step, we'll create the master page named MP Content. This can be created using the new master page dialog. In the header element from the master page, create a table element using the palette view, having one row and two columns. In the first column, insert a text element and set the static text Rational Publishing Engine. Add a text element in the second cell and use the script expression to define its value. Use the static text Rational Rhapsody plus the value of the internal variable document title. For the table element, set the table out of it property to out of it to window. Also, remove the table borders and set only the bottom border to be a single one pixel black line. The footer section will contain the current page number. For this, we have to add the page number element. Add two extra text elements to nicely format the page number. Set the value of both text elements to the minus sign. Set the paragraph alignment property value of the paragraph element to center. Activate the bold property of the page number element. In order to have the table of contents and table of figures on a different page than the title page, insert a page break element and, after that, insert the table of contents and the table of figures elements. We are starting the use case diagram extraction by extracting attributes from Projects Project Use Case Diagrams Query in the context of the Projects Project Query. Create a container and set the Projects Project Query. Inside, create another container and set the Projects Project Use Case Diagrams query in the context of the previously created query. Check if the Extract Use Case Diagrams external variable has the on value. Create a condition on the container element having the Projects Project Use Case Diagrams query set. Insert a text element in the context of Projects Project Use Case Diagrams query and put the static text Use Case Diagrams 
as value. Before we can make use of the label attribute to extract the use case diagram's names, we need to add another paragraph and to set the corresponding query for it. To display the label attribute, insert a new paragraph and inside this element, insert a new text element. The content of the text element will be the value of the label attribute. Set the font color property for the text element to the hexadecimal value representing light blue color. Extracting the diagrams from the use case diagrams requires access to the path attribute. Therefore, we need to create another paragraph and set the query which grants us access to the path attribute. Now that we have access to the path attribute, we create an image element and set its value to the data expression which makes use of the path attribute. In order to bind the diagram to the table of figures, we need to create a figure caption. The text to be displayed by the figure caption element will be composed from the name of the diagram and the static text figure, which will be set as a script expression to the figure caption element. The alignment of the paragraph that holds the figure caption should be set to center for a better look of the document. Let's save our work and run the template to see how the output documents look like in this moment. Switch to RP Launcher Perspective to configure the document specification. The Rhapsody data source should be configured with the address and name of the server where Rhapsody is installed, the port and the fixed path rational Rhapsody. Also, the variable used to extract the use case diagram should be configured with the on value. While the document generation is in progress, RPE will show a set of messages on the console and also on the progress dialog. When the process is done, a result dialog will appear and the user can open the output documents. Open the word output and take a look at the document.